And the Browns have one of the most loyal fan bases across the NFL. You got that right. Even from 4,000 miles away in Alaska, among those serving their country, you can find members of the Dog Pound. News 5's Cameron Justice shows us how one Browns player learned firsthand while meeting with members of our armed forces. Just amazing just seeing how football could just bring so many people together. So it was awesome. Demetric Felton learned firsthand how much his career can impact the lives of others. Traveling across the country to Alaska for a trip with the United Service Organizations, an experience that was extra special to him. Uh, it resonated with me because, you know, I come from a military background. My dad served for 22 years in the military. His dad, a Navy chaplain, a role that gave Felton a true respect for service members. Knowing all uh, the struggles that they go through, you know, it was really, uh, it was great for me to go back. It's always a humbling experience to go be around the military and know what they go through. This trip reminding him of his childhood experiences. Just seeing that, seeing the sacrifice they have to put, uh, go through, you know, physical and mental, uh, being far away from their families and having to do that stuff, you know, it was very uh, eye-opening for me. Felton even meeting a loyal Browns fan living across the country during his trip. We were visiting a base and as soon as we got there, I, I noticed her. She was decked out in all her Browns gear. It was a great experience for us to be able to connect over uh, the Browns. And that's something the Browns receiver won't soon forget as he continues aiming to give back to the Northeast Ohio community and fans of the land around the world. Well, that's something that's always been close to my heart being able to give back and so being able to go out there and do that you know it just motivates me to do it even more because that's at the end of the day that's what it's always about just paying it forward being able to uh, bless someone else in cleveland cameron justice news five